Tap the caller right now at 800-636-1067. is going to win a four-pack of passes to the advanced screening of the Seventh Sun at the Regal Majestic on February 4th at 7 p.m. Seventh Sun hits theaters February 6th. For more details, go to SeventhSunMovie.com. <clears throat> hmm. So anything else jump out at you at the media day? Obviously, Marshawn Lynch got all of the attention. It's my understanding, and I have to admit, I didn't watch this. Cakes and I were out at the uh, at the Washington Auto Show, mm-hmm. checking out all the vehicles, hanging out with the awesome people that were participating at the contest. Yep. Uh, it's my understanding that nobody talked about flat footballs, that we may, we may have put this behind us. Uh, maybe for yesterday, but I think it's coming back. You think I don't think it's going to come roaring back. I think we've hit that threshold now where attention is going to start to shift towards the actual football game. Well, I think it depends of, if, if another detail comes out. I mean, on Monday you had the detail of the, the kid going into the bathroom. And right. Everyone speculated about that. If another detail comes out today or tomorrow, then the media will jump all over that. But if it just stays where it is, yeah, you're right. right. They'll just wait for the, for the investigation to end. Right. Here's why media day is such a goof. Here's one of the questions that was actually asked to one of the players yesterday. Will you tell us the first play you'll run in the game if we promise not to tell anyone? I mean, how, how do you not take that as a complete yeah. farce? Yeah, it's ridiculous. When you're sitting there on your podium. Yeah, it's completely ridiculous, Case. <laughs> what does your mom call you when you're in trouble? These are grown men. These guys are 25, 30 years old. I'm sure their moms are still grilling them and calling them whatever she calls someone them asked, when they're five years old. Someone asked one of the Patriots players, I can't remember what player it was, but when he stopped believing in Santa Claus. Right. <laughs> and the guy goes, and my youngest daughter still does believe in Santa Claus. She's hanging on. Okay, how old is she? She's 11. I think there's 50% that oh, doesn't yeah, and 50% she, that does. Yeah. She's hanging on, though, all right? That's fine. You might want to get her tested. If she wants to believe, she <laughs> she can believe. Uh, but she she's watching this with me. Yeah. And then the, the guy goes, yeah, I think I was 13 or 14 when I finally realized wow. my parents were Santa Claus. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I changed the channel. <laughs> the jig is up. <laughs> And my daughter goes, why did you change the channel, Dad? Right. She was half paying attention. <laughs> yeah. But you're right. For the most part, it was goofy questions like that. Yeah, well, I'm just Who glad. was the hottie that Richard Sherman was dancing with on on his, on his the podium? Or was it Cam that? Chancellor? I saw I saw uh, it was Sherman, and, Sherman Russell, too. And, she and, was, and Russell Wilson. She was doing it with all the players there and giving them Xboxes if they danced with her. She was mauled. Oh, really? Yeah. I would have danced with her. Why not? Give me an Xbox. Yeah, sure. I mean, Xbox One? Not that I would ever use it, but I'd just give it to my kid. I would upgrade. I feel a little bit behind the times because my kid has an Xbox 360 instead of the yeah. Xbox One, but yeah. he's perfectly happy with it. Yeah. He doesn't complain about no, it. No, my kids ask for the Xbox One. I go, nah, you don't need it. <laughs> unless unless a free one <laughs> falls into your lap. Right. Yeah, that's the key. Well, of course, then you can have one. What's the big deal? But What's the big difference between the Xbox One and the Xbox 360? Are the graphics markedly better? They already look pretty freaking great. Yeah. You really think they are? Oh, yeah, for sure. Markedly like, better. Blow your mind remarkably better. I can't. So mind. it blows your mind when you play like NBA 2K15 drab? Feel like you're in the game <laughs> right there courtside. You already feel that way. <laughs> no, those 360s nubs. All right. <laughs> Right. I don't know. I, I think it's getting to that point. This where is coming from the guy that, buy, that buys a new camera every six months because he's got to have the latest thing. <laughs> Nothing's well, changed on have, it. Well, a lot changes. You got to have the, the superior autofocus. <laughs> Get more keepers. You don't know about that. Automatic focus. I Thank you. Don't. Yeah. I know I'm about to donk off a ton of dough for another camera. Really? Yeah. So. Oh, hold on. Let me. I mean, it's not that much. much? It's not that much. No, 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 it's not. I mean, it's a lot of money. It's a stupid amount of money. But as far as their cameras are a lot more expensive. I'm going to guess you're going to drop about $2,500. That's around that price. Yeah. I mean, it's a waste. You know what? But I got to have that. You know what? I got to have that better all focus. More power to you. You have to have hobbies. Enjoy it. Right. What am I supposed to do? Just sit there and die? Live your life. Right. Enjoy life. Right. While you're here. So how many cameras do you have now? I don't know. I mean, how, how many high-end cameras do you More have? More than CBS? Uh, <laughs> at this point, I think I have three. Three that are the total. And then, but then you have, really what it is is lenses. Okay. Then you start to accumulate all these huge lenses. All right, that's fine. So how many, if you include the lenses, oh, how much, if you include what, lenses? what's the value of all of your camera equipment, do you think? I don't oh. want to say that. 15? Okay. I, I I don't know. I, I I would write it down. You know what you. he could have done? I don't, I don't want to get my house he could, rough. He could, he, he could have taken all of his camera equipment and put it in a duffel bag and taken it to the house at Great Falls where they had the $20,000 buy-in poker game that got raided by the Fairfax cops over the weekend. Yeah, Did you is, hear about that? I didn't hear that's, about that. 
just stupid. Think about that. A $20,000 buy-in mm. just to sit down. That's double the amount to sit down at the WSOP main event. I'm pretty they had, sure. They had them all. I'm pretty sure I know oh, yeah, they did. They a guy all. or two that was probably at that game. And you guys probably know him, too. I'm sure we do. Well, and I don't see what the problem is. Were they were they raking? As long as they're... It's my understanding. As long as you're not raking... They were taking a small cut well, to pay guessing. the dealers and I think some other people to help out, like with servers. Then that might be that might cross the line. I'm guessing if you have a twenty K buy in, you're raking a little bit. And you What's mentioned the a mole. They What's did the have, point of having it. They did have well, an informant. Guys like to play a big high stakes poker. The police had an informant who, big surprise, was a late addition to the game like two or three weeks ago. And they said he was suspicious because he sat down, first of all, didn't know how to play. They're playing Omaha. He had no clue as to how to play. Right. And <laughs> the other g- dead giveaway that he was an informant or a mole, he sat down in the game and left after two hours. Mm-hmm. Nobody does that in a poker game unless right. you can get felt and you have no money left. Well, he just lost the <laughs> police department 20K or whatever it was. <laughs> right? He so he got it. up and left. Everybody's like, why is this guy leaving the game all of a sudden? Yeah. And then two weeks later, guys are playing – at this home in Great Falls, and one of the guys who's sitting at the table said he looked out the back window or the back sliding door, and all he could see were dark helmets bobbing up and down, waiting to come in and bust them. Okay. Next thing I knew, they had automatic rifles pointed at their faces. Well, don't we think that's a little over the top? A little bit. Well, I would we agree. Think that's a little over the it's top. A, it's a you, tad bit aggressive. We don't really need that. <laughs> what do, you, what do they there. do? What do the cops do with the money? Seized it. Yeah, I don't know. And then what do they do with it? I guess you let the courts you decide. You can petition to get it back. If you get it back, you only get 60% of it back. Oh, They take a big old chunk of it. A big vig. Mm-hmm. That, that's a bad beat. <laughs> that is the bad beat jackpot. That's a bad beat right there. I got a buddy. That's, How tempting would it be for those cops to go back to their van and you know start divvying out that cash? You know who hit uh, the good beat be jackpot? You would definitely be a dirty <laughs> cop. I'd be a dirty cop. One, no of the guy, one of the guys that was there at the game waiting for a seat. Didn't get arrested because he hadn't bought into the game. Oh, yet. he hadn't given his cash yet. Good beat jackpot is what he hit. You know, why wouldn't you sit down and play Omaha and then when you hit a big pot, put a couple of chips in your pocket? <laughs> I'll never forget when we had one of our JPOs, and we've done how many at the Borgata now? 12, 12 I think. I think we've dozen. done 12 different poker tournaments. They've all been a huge success uh, in Atlantic City uh, at the Borgata. At one of them, I'm going to say JPO 5 or something like that earlier into the run. There was, I was sitting next to a guy who was all disheveled. He looked like an ex-football player or something. That was mm-hmm. just big, big white guy, but just looked just kind of disheveled. But he was an awesome poker player. He was dominating the table. And I was just intrigued by him. And during one of the breaks, I started talking to him a little bit. He didn't really know who I was. He just happened to be in Atlantic City. He was playing in the tournament because it was there. And next thing you know. Did you ask him where he was from? He was from this area, mm-hmm. but I think he was up there maybe with some buddies or whatever. And he might have been a frequent, you know, player there. Mm-hmm. And played some of the high school games there. there yeah. yeah. Next thing I know, he gives me his business card, and it just has, like, a dot on it, okay? And it just has an address, okay? And he was running a high-stakes game out of some condo he rented, mm-hmm. like, in Alexandria. And he, he told me all the, all the bit, and this was – this is seven or eight years ago, so don't come asking me because I don't remember. <laughs> right. But he 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 gave me it's a it just had a dot and an address. And he said, if you ever want to play, I run this game. And it was like this. He told me the whole deal where he had to, he had remodeled this whole condo where he had like two different doors, a steel door, right. the whole thing you had to do. But he had it catered, dealered, uh, cocktail waitresses. The whole night. Sounds silly. And it was running 24-7. Mm-hmm. And if you ever wanted to play when you're in D.C., hit them up. It's the underground. It, and I think those, those kind of things happen everywhere. Yeah, well, I think you're right. Yeah, but you never played it. Now all you're doing is trying, to, cir- you're trying to circle the dot on your phone <laughs> every five minutes. Yeah. That's all you're doing with the dot. I circled that dot <laughs> in, uh, six moves last yeah. night. Yeah, you did. When we come but back, sized. we'll get into the Junkie Sports page. Not a great night for the locals. We'll talk Wiz, Caps, GW Hoops, and more next on The Fan. <laughs> 